This land, whose current status is a bush, has been acquired by Nkana Water Supply and Sanitation Company for the establishment of a solar plant to power its water treatment plant and distribution centers. This is in response to the current electricity deficit, which has seen the utility rationing water to residents. We've got that land uh, across the river that has been acquired to put a solar farm. That solar farm will host uh, or will be able to generate about uh, 3.75 megawatts uh, of power. That should be able to help us to run our pumps uh, here at Bolangililo. Um, all the treatment plants will have their uh, solar energy plants that will be put. That means that during daytime, we will be able to utilize um, energy from the sun. Then in the night, we will utilize ZESCO. The utility will set up the solar power plant in partnership with the European Union and an investment of about 12 million euros will be spent on the project. We are looking at uh, something close to 12 million euros that will be injected in that project. So this project, in terms of physical works, you'll see it in 2025 going to 2026. Nkana Water Supply and Sanitation Company Director Engineering says the utility has challenges in the distribution of pumped water due to power challenges. Because the rationing is also affected by the load shedding. So when we start supplying, we we'll just monitor how the water supply improves. The solar plant will be producing about 13.5 megawatts of power. Chembembale in Kitwe.